guys, it's Coffee, and today we are playing the 100 Baby Challenge. I am here playing as Juliet. She was actually writing a book. We got a lot of gameplay done. I filmed about three sim days off camera, and Alice has aged up. I'll show her to you. Draco, I'm about to age up, but I decided to wait until I was on camera to actually show you how he ages up so we can move him out. And um, Juliet has just gone into labor, so we're actually going to go um have her have the baby because that's what i was kind of waiting for i played so i could see her go into labor actually wait oh my gosh before well i guess we can go over there before we do this i need to actually pull up the last episode of the 100 baby challenge and look at the comments really quick because you guys suggested names for me i usually always go and look at the last video that's like how i pick names in case you guys were ever curious uh, let's see. I want to go and look at my videos. Pull this up. Okay. Okay, it looks like oh, we had a boy. And the first name that I'm seeing is from Paige Everingham. And she gave us quite a few suggestions. We're going to go ahead and pick Levi because I like that. Levi Huntley. Okay. Bam. Play. You okay? Is everybody okay? Woo! Okay. Oh man, are you kidding? We only had one? I really was hoping for triplets, you guys. I'm actually really bummed out right now. Well, garbage. Oh, Alice, did you do your homework? Yeah, she did. Okay. Well, garbage. I was really hoping for triplets because I told you guys if we had triplets, I was going to age Juliet up in this episode and we totally didn't have triplets. Who's that? Wait, what? Sophia. Why do I not remember these kids? Oh. Oh. Wow, they're Draco's half-siblings. That's crazy. Oh, okay, I see. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. That's that's what I wanted. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So we really need... I either want to hit 25 kids or have Juliet actually get old. So, and I don't think we're actually close to her being old. Like, let's take a look here. Okay, we still have five more days. Oh, you guys, I'm so bummed out right now and I don't want her to do anything with an alien because I don't want an alien to be the successor and I know a lot of people have opinions about that a lot of people would love it if an alien was the successor I just really don't want that I don't want an alien to be the successor who are you oh you're a teen gosh dang it I was gonna say hey but no never mind um, I'm literally looking around the neighborhood now because I originally wanted to have some alien babies, but now that I know we're probably going to be done with Juliet soon, I really don't want to raise the risk of having the next matriarch be an alien because that's just not what I want. So, oh, I thought that was a, I thought this was a cat and I was like, what? Since when does our game have cats? That is not a thing. NVM, NVM. Okay, uh, let's go... What am I even doing? Uh, sorry, I'm... So oh, wait, did, don't we have... Don't we have some people that we've been talking to that we don't have any kids with? Marcos? No, I think we have kids with this guy. I don't think we can have kids with ghosts, which sucks. So that's out of the question. And I think we actually have to meet new people. Why is Leslie dead? How sad. Do we have kids with him? I don't even know. I can't even keep him straight anymore. Um. Oh, oh I know. That's the teen. Gosh dang it. I'm like considering just cheating aging that teenager up. What about this guy right here? Are you a guy or a girl? Why are there so many girls in this town? Ugh. Okay. Um... I could just do that. I could just, like, force an age transition. 
Um, cheat me. No, no. I want to... Oh, I don't think I can do that. I think I would have to modify him in cast, and I don't want to do that either. What's this? What? You can clear marriages from people? That's crazy. I don't even know you can do that. That must be new. Okay, so I guess we have to wait for more sims to show up or go out somewhere. Ugh, I'm so bugged that she only had one. But we named him Levi, and that's a cool name. Um, let's go ahead and have Marcos come over here and... Oh, you know what? Let's just re replace it. We're going to have him mob, though. What? What is that noise? Oh, my gosh. This house is falling apart. We'll just replace you, too. We actually had, like, $20,000 saved up over the last few days, and then we lost, like, all of it. Um, we're going to go ahead and have him repair that. So, Alice, let me show you Alice really quick. This episode might be shorter than the last. I'm not sure yet. Um, this is our little girl, Alice. She is a little experimenter. She's a little cray cray. Um, no, no, that's not what I was going to say. She got the neat trait and I think we made her. What did I make her? Oh, she's the social butterfly. So um, I just have her working on her skills. She's got her homework done for whenever school starts. And we actually need to age Draco up and move him out. So we'll go ahead and do that first, like right now. Um, let's go ahead and have her cook. And let's make him a hamburger cake because that sounds awesome. Um, oh, did he just leave for school? Clean that up. Hold on. Um, leave school early. Yes. Um, why is this not working? Why is this not working? He's like not here. What? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so he has an A and the cake is now done. I'm going to have him add birthday candles to this cake. Oh, you on the other hand are supposed to be at school, so get out of here. Add birthday candles. What is your prob? No. There we go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and have him blow out the candles. We're going to have her study hard. I know she's tense and she's going to come home probably real mad about it, but it is what it is. Okay. So Draco is now a young adult. Oh, he's evil. He hates kids. Let's make him gloomy. Let's just add a third bad trait right on top. Also, we make a lot of money now. Uh, we make almost five grand a day with Juliet because I had her write like three books while I was off camera and it was great. So Draco is now a young adult. I actually, and I said this in the last episode, I actually really like the way Draco looks. So I don't really want to like... I don't really want to change the way he looks because I actually really like the way he came out. So I'm going to go ahead and move him out because that is the thing. When they become adults, they have to move out. Oh my goodness, you guys. I can't believe we're not even 25 children strong. Like, I just, I just can't believe it. I feel like we've been running this series forever. Okay. Um, who lives where? Who lives here? I think these are the kids that I just moved out. So we're going to go into the household management. We're going to do the splits. And we're actually just going to take Draco out. Boop. Boop. And then we're going to take Draco and move him in with his siblings. I really need to go and remove... Um, and you need to go revamp that house because it's a tiny house, but I think we could make it work for all five of them. Either that or move them to one that's slightly larger, but we didn't have the money to buy them a house. So 
Now we're going to go ahead and go back. And now we're just looking for someone for Juliet because that's what we need now. <laughs> but we only have two kids in the house now, Levi and Alice. And I'm really hoping to get Juliet pregnant in this episode. And I'm hoping for at least twins, if not triplets this time. Um, I think I'm going to actually, uh, with Juliet, I think I'm actually going to start playing more of her pregnancy, not on camera, just because I'm, I'm honestly tired of playing with her. I really am. I'm, I'm ready for a new sim. I'm ready for some new excitement in the series. And I think her pregnancy, I'm just going to play it off camera and I'll probably do the things where like, I'll have her watch the kids show and do things to increase her chance of multiples. Um, let's see. So Juliet, we really need to find. We really need to find some. Oh, who are you? Who are you? Even if you're old, we don't wait. Are you my son? Because that makes it. Oh, Alexander. God. I don't think we've ever. Flirty introduction. Go for it. Dude, Alexander. God, I'm so shocked right now. Uh, okay. 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 Nice. More choices. Romance. Let's beguile him. Um, more choices. Romance. Ask if single. More choices. Romance. Uh, okay. Compliment his appearance. Pick up line. I'm looking for Marcos to make sure he's not running around out here. Romance. Uh, let's confess our attraction to him. Ask Risque. Hey, look, it's Alexander. I can't believe... Or Augustus, not Alexander. We're talking to Alexander. His mother is just like this fountain of youth. It's funny. All right. Um, no, wait, come back. I need to talk to you. Oh, snap. Uh, let's ask him to hang out. Uh, whisper seductively. Dude, I think we're ready. Like, our romance bar is really high. I think it's going to work. Where is Marcos? Okay, he's right there. We're going to go ahead and try for a baby with Alexander Goth. And we're going to... We're going to go have Marcos go work out. Because he still does have to work out for his career, so. Snap. Right when he's home. Always. I feel like we do this all the time. He's always home when this happens. Alright, we're going to fast forward this. And then we're going to immediately have Juliet. What was that? No, okay, we're okay. We're okay. We're going to have her go and take a pregnancy test. Marcos actually has to go to work right now. Marcos, you have to go to work, bud. Oh, no, six minutes. He's got some time. Wait, what just happened? Did she just try to do it and then it like... No, that's not what I wanted. Wait. Oh my gosh. She brings you dust. Get out. Okay, yes! Okay, we're eating for two now. Okay, so I'm actually going to play the next little bit off of camera. 
And I'm going to wait until she goes into labor and see what happens. So I will meet you guys back in just a little bit. Okay, guys. So we are back. And Juliet is actually just now going into labor because it's just about that time. So she's heading over to the crib now. I'm actually kind of nervous and anticipating what is going to happen because I'm really hoping we have multiples because I, I did what I could. I did what I could. All right. I believe, Juliet. I believe. She does not look pleased. Does not look pleased in the slightest. Um, let me go. Oh, it's a girl. Okay, this is really important because this could be our matriarch. We don't know. It depends on the sex and whoever is born last. So this name is really important. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open these comments again. Um, oh, that's a cute name. Sorry, I don't want to say them out loud because I don't want um, to someone to hear like the name that I thought was really cute and then, then be like, oh, you didn't pick it. So, um, okay, this one's cute. This one comes from Jewel Winart and she suggested Melody. I like that. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding right now? Are you kidding? <sighs> just one. Just another singular child. Just one. All right. That's it. <sighs> That's it. Because that would be our 24th child. We still need one more. I saw a Sim walking around out here that we had not had a child with. And I feel like... Okay, not you. It was a guy. And we saw him earlier, too. Um, I wish I had said something to him, but I didn't. Man, he was just like out here walking around too. Oh, also with Levi aged up. I need to actually show him to you. But for some reason, Levi isn't like, I think I need to close my game and reopen it. Levi is like glitching out. Okay, I'm not going to worry in this episode about finding another baby daddy right now. I'm probably just going to end the episode here right now. Melody might actually end up being our matriarch depending on what the last baby that we're going to have, which will happen in the next episode. So the next episode is going to be really important because... We're going to finally close Juliet's legacy and yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be really, really, really important. So you're definitely not going to want to miss the next one um, because it's going to be the deciding factor with if Melody is going to be our next matriarch or if we're going to have one more little girl, we don't know yet. But um, anyways, you guys, please do follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I am at CoffeeYT and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. This is Coffee, signing off. Hey guys, it's Chloe, and today I am so super excited because I am working with Madam Glam to bring you guys a tutorial on how to do at-home gel nails. And I'm super stoked about this because I absolutely love Madam Glam. I want to start this video out with a short disclaimer that I am not receiving anything else other than the products that I talk about in the videos from this company. I'm not being paid to sit here and talk about this. This is my honest opinion. I don't work with companies if I don't like like their products, I will honestly...